you guys, it's your girl, Ario Nari, and today we have another Real Mumbo interview. Guess who I'm here with? PG County rapper and international swag lord, Foggy Raw! <laughs> Introduce yourself to the people. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's Foggy Raw, a.k.a. Foggtavious Vandross, a.k.a. Foggy Raw Babe, a.k.a. Foggy Auto Sport, a.k.a. Fox Guy, a.k.a. Foggy Genie Gussolini. I'm oh. in here. How are you feeling today? I feel absolutely splendid. Splendid. That's good to hear. Random question. If you were a crayon, any crayon in the crayon box, talking about the hundred pack, yeah. what Fuchsia. color <laughs> Yeah, what color would you be? Um uh, what color would I be? What color would you be? Like not what color I wanna be, what color I would be. Would be. Probably, okay, well actually we'll do both. Okay. I would probably wanna be red, but I'm probably not gonna be. <laughs> Why not? Because, you know, that's going to be like someone like Drake. Or <laughs> so I'll probably be more like Sage for <laughs> I would be Razzmatazz. What is that? It's like a pinkish color. Is it hot pink? No, 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 no. Not hot oh, pink. Okay. It's the nice, like, warm pink. What does that mean? What does that really mean? So who are your top five favorite artists of all time? My favorite, though. Yes. Not like based on how good they are, just your personal oh, favorite. Chameleonaire. Really? Yeah, but I'm not going to say this is an order. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, nah, honestly, though, yeah, he probably my number one. <laughs> Obviously, like Kanye West. Mm. Yeah. I like Pimp C. Okay. Yeah, big fan of UGK and Pimp. More so Pimp. Nah, I've been on B2, but more Pimp C. And then I like MF Doom and then Lil Wayne. Okay. Yeah, that was my favorite of all time. I can yeah. respect that. Mm -hmm. And Michael Jackson's like always like the you know, <laughs> the goat yeah, level. Yeah, above all. Stuff, so yeah. What are you listening to right now? What did you listen to on the way here? Listen to that good old Foggy Raw, man. Hey. <laughs> uh, this guy Kasim from the DMV. Yes. Yeah, he put me on to this. Oh well, I mean, I like him. Obviously, I like him. But yeah. He put me on to this song. Shout like, out Kasim. Yeah, shout out Kasim. He put me on to this song called Sandstorm. By Mariba, I think. Oh, I don't yeah. Say her name wrong, but with Jed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that song. This is one song, Cute a Fool had. I think it's called 100. I, I think it's honestly called 100 Round Blue. Sunday Service Choir. I love Jesus Born. Rain. That's my favorite song right now. And Beauty by Drew Hill. I always be listening wait, to Wait, wait, like, hold up. Hold yeah. up. Let me find you. You an R&B head? Oh, crazy. <laughs> now we're going to play a game. All right called underrated or overrated so basically i'm gonna name something mm -hmm. and we're gonna discuss if it's underrated or overrated I bet, I bet. social media mm, i think it's just rated because you you know agree. you need it social media changed my life mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying but social media also probably hurts my life in a lot of ways too so it just is what it is bro i agree i agree i have mixed feelings because i feel like it can be used for good yeah, yeah, for sure. but Humans going human, so it up. It, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. you know how it goes. Mm -hmm. LeBron James. Oh, underrated. Agreed. Yeah. And I hate he how people. Say, oh, Michael Jordan. That's this. what I was about to no, say. No. That's LeBron what I was about school. to say. LeBron and most of these school. people don't even remember Michael Jordan like that oh, when they, they be talking about that. Either. Exactly. But the kicks though. <laughs> right. The kicks exactly. Hard, though. Do you feel like mumble rap is underrated or overrated? Quote unquote. Me attaching myself from it i probably say it's underrated because i, I feel like it's good music yes you know? but people always want to all right let's give a name so we could say it's this and then we can have an opinion on it based on this name you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? instead of just how about do you like this song right like this song it don't have to be let's group it so we can all hate this title of mumble rap right so, and i feel people that. call it that to be shady mm -hmm. and sure. i don't For like sure. that and lastly, brunch. <laughs> brunch is rated. It ain't overrated. Ain't okay. Right. Nah, it's a little bit overrated from the people who like chicken and waffles. Here we go. The chicken and waffles is not. <laughs> no, it's just not a right combination. He's the only person in the whole world that, that does not like not chicken true. and waffles. That is, I mean, everybody, <laughs> they, they know. You know what I'm they know what's up. Chicken and waffles, is just, it don't make sense to me. Because it's like, just eat your chicken and then eat your waffle. <laughs> It's fine. And hey, you know what blow me about chicken and waffles? What blows you? This is what blows me about <laughs> it. I feel like, would you sit down and put syrup on your chicken? No. On a Tuesday? No, but if okay, it so just stop don't right happen. There. Stop right there. <laughs> so why would you do it? 
But if it just so happened to touch, you know, I I'm, not like, gonna, oh, <laughs> I'm not going to fight it. Ew, ew, get it off <laughs> I think brunch is Niggas underrated. Up brunch, brunch is underrated. You got to get you, you the right crew. Get you the right. I don't. Okay. Brunch trademark. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's overrated. Okay. I but brunch saying. itself. Like as the food in, of it. Yes. Okay. Yes. That brings me to mm-hmm. your latest controversy. Okay. So recently, some random Twitter hoes was like, yes. you, s- <laughs> you yes. stole your design from Sabi Auto Sport. Yes, they said that. What are your thoughts on that? What do you have to say about that? But the Sabi Auto thing is more so like, okay, I was doing the giant for a year. So I when I initially said, I was like, you know what? I'm from here. I be making nicknames. So I was like, oh, Foggy Auto Sport. So I was like, boom. That would be cool. Like, it's like a plan on Sabi. Everybody right. know from here. So it's like, boom, okay. I made the merch and I put it out. Everybody was like, oh, this is crazy. You flip this ain't this ain't cool. Shout out Michael Porter. He's like an NBA player. Mm-hmm. And then I had shout out Jeremy Zucker. He's like this singer dude. He's fire. Yeah. And then they was wearing it. So it looked like when I posted the picture on Twitter. It looked like some random person saw. So I was like, "What the hell? Like, why you got NBA niggas wearing something that I don't know about?" But it looked like Saab. So yeah. They just took it and went crazy. Didn't do the research, but it was just taken out of context. So you know, it's it's over it though, because you know, at the end of the day, it's still sold out. Hello. It's very mm. fast. If I do. Mm. And <laughs> and <laughs> Another one of your merch say, "God is my boast." What yes. does that phrase mean to you? So God is my boast to me means, okay, God is what I take pride in, right? And a lot of people, they see, or they listen to my music, they be like, oh, I be like acting like, oh, I'm that nigga or something like that. And it's just like, a lot of that stuff is just confidence that I have because the real thing that I put my confidence in is God. I know that, oh, that's such a solid never changing things so i feel like god is my boast just means this is the one who i put my confidence in and i know that it don't change so that's just what i represent on my clothes wow that's powerful so your last album Mm -hmm. foctavius vandross let's get into it here we are a year well almost a year later oh yeah there's way more than a year later Okay, yeah. <laughs> we rounding, we rounding. rounding. <laughs> right. What stands out to me the most on that album is your beat selection. Yes. So what criteria does a song have to meet for you to be like, I want this, I'm going to hop on this? So for me, it just be like, oh, I just got to think, oh, this song is like really hard. You know what I'm saying? I don't do this whole, oh, the beat is so-and-so, so I have to have it. It's like, oh, does it connect to me? Do I feel right. like my tone of voice? I can add to the beat and not take something away. So if I feel like I can add the beat and I really like it, and that's how I do it. What song on the album means the most to you? Okay, so it ain't really on the album, mm-hmm. but it came out right after the album, and it's called Proudly. Okay. And the reason that means the most to me was because when I made it, I was like, yo, I like this. This is the hottest joint on my album. Everybody who I let listen to the album first, it was like, yeah, this is the weakest song on your album. Oh. And I was like, damn, bro. <laughs> oh, really? yeah. And usually, I don't really care what people be thinking. Yeah. But for some reason, I was so, like, in my bag. I was like, oh, I got to do this right. So I left probably off. Oh, I no. Was One day, I had dropped it on a snippet on Instagram. And I was like, yo, you need to drop this. And I dropped it, and then it just went crazier than any song that was on my album. Mm-hmm. So I felt like it was just a reminder to trust yourself. You know what I'm saying? Always. At the end of the day, I'm the one who got to live with the music I do, so I got to like it and I got to trust myself. Right. Okay, but what song on, on the album? album? I'd probably say Cinnabon. Yes, like that's Cinnabon. my favorite. Yeah, I, I say that. <laughs> the song came about like, I had the idea, but I was like, man, this spot fetch because I got to get the talk box and I got this idea and moody. You know? It took us so long to get it, mm-hmm. do it right. So you just coming off a tour, the Bliss Tour, yes. with Soli Head and yes. 12 AM. Shout out all the uh, Sabatuzis out there. <laughs> <laughs> so how was that experience? It was an excellent experience. It was a growing experience. Okay, that's my first tour though. So I had to learn all of <laughs> The first of many. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. 
and I had to learn, okay, how to get along with all these different people, you know what I'm saying, I had to learn, okay, not being away from home, not being away from schedule, and you know, ups and downs of tours, because sometimes the shows is really big, and sometimes the shows ain't as big as you thought they were going to be, mm-hmm. and you had to learn, okay, how to not get too up and get too down, you got to learn, oh, I'm tired, I did three shows, but you got to do a show tomorrow too, though, so you just have to, Whoa. you know what I'm saying, it's mentally, so it's yeah. like taught me a lot for real. Yeah. yeah. What was the highlight of the tour for you? It was two. No, it was a lot of highlights. Let me go through those. Ah, oh, okay. We went to Utah, and then I was like, damn, Utah, like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? All yeah, what's Utah out there? Mormons. Man, man, uh, John Stockton or something like that. So, boom. I'm thinking, okay, this ain't going to be a slight on And we got into the drink. So we, we was in the green room. We saw the venue. We like, damn, this drink big as a mug. It's going to be like, how many people we supposed to get in here? Mm-hmm. So it was like, big damn near sold it out like to the, I was like wow. damn all these people in Utah pulled up and everybody had energy because the best shows for, to me were shows where the fans was here like rooting for everybody and mm-hmm. just here to have a good time so Utah was probably the best crowd and then Denver was a good crowd for me too I just like the energy the fans yeah. were really dope out there so I really appreciated that so those are my two highlights alright well what can we expect from Foggy Raw in 2020 you gotta expect definitely I promise new music. More clothes, more drip, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> more, more drip. Drip. <laughs> more drip. Yeah. New music first and yes. foremost. Yes, for sure. Can we get any hints on that? I'm gonna do it right. Yeah, and it's gonna be in my heart, you know what I'm saying? So, you did not just share anything. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was gonna skate away with it. No, 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 no. We need like, more than like, that. I say nothing. So you know what I can say? I can say it once with you. Okay. My homegirl, Henry B. Styles. Okay. That's confirmed. That's it. That's it. You typed it right yes. now. Yes, that's it. Do you have an album name? Uh, no. Actually, I promise I don't. Okay. Yeah, I, I let the music, I feel like I listen to it and then at the end and tell me, okay, what you going to be called? You know what I'm saying? So, Got yeah. you, like a baby. Exactly. Because <laughs> you might want to call your baby John and you look at you like, oh, you oh, nah, you an Earl. Earl. <laughs> <laughs> I know earlier mm-hmm. you had talked a little bit about a clothing line. Yes. What's, what's that hitting on? What's up with that? I got a clothing line. Sometimes I put out merch for myself through it. Sometimes I put out guys my post clothes. Sometimes we put out other stuff. We got um, stuff like Say Let's Pray More. I just like to do stuff that I feel like I want to do, but I feel like I don't see it done. So right. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm going to try to do it. And, uh, you know, that's how it is. Yeah. yeah What's I the name like of your clothing line? The, so the brand is called The Diff Shop. Okay. And the Diff Shop. The Diff Shop on IG and, you know, just... We just gonna keep doing fly ish or keep trying to do fly ish and it don't stop that's another way of creativity for me so right yeah. all right so what else you want to talk about i'm not rooting for that washington football team no more. <laughs> Hell no. They name. yeah that's they disrespectful gotta, they gotta their honestly name. They gotta their name. i like feel like they're not gonna win until they do oh i mean they wasn't gonna win regardless. i mean true but, but <laughs> yeah, they definitely like me i feel like bro that bad of a football team, don't be racist. Exactly. That's like, the very you least. You shouldn't be racist. <laughs> but if you're going to be racist, at least be hot. At least be like Tom Brady. Like, right. Can't. Winning in races, no, but you, you losing in races. So I'm not, but, but everybody's going to say I'm going to have one. I'm looking at what team I'm about to join. I don't know. We're going to see because I used to like the Eagles. Um, but I ain't going to like Why? I just feel like my heart was too severed from them. Me to join back, I have to start fresh. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I can't go back to toxic relationships. It's toxic. <laughs> what about basketball? Honestly, I used to be a Wizards fan, but they put me through so much. I too, know though. that's toxic. It is. Oh my gosh. I mean, you know, Gilbert Arenas, those are the glory years for me as a fan, but I can't do this, man. <laughs> I'm a LeBron fan. Everywhere LeBron go, I like that team. <laughs> Period. And then once LeBron leaves, everywhere mm-hmm. Zion go. I'm going to be a <laughs> That's just how I am. I don't know. They don't need to 
don't deserve my loyalty, man. They, do they really do don't. Nothing. What do they do for nothing? Mm. Oh. Mm, oh, mm, not mm. a Wizards fan no more. Just <laughs> said it here. All right. Where can the people find you on social media? Um, Foggy Raw, F O G G I E R A W, everywhere. Yeah, I'm Foggy Raw. Cool. Well, we done here. Real Mumbo, Foggy Raw, Fogtavius Vandross. I don't even know all your other names. He has a lot. But yeah, we good. All right. Peace.